Okay, let's look at setting up a workspace for Perforce for Unreal. So this is the first time we're going to run Perforce. So I'm going to launch it. It's going to ask me for my password. So I'm going to enter my password. And I should log into Perforce. So I'm logged into Perforce. The depot is all of the various depots with projects in them that I have access to. And my workspace is what I have on my hard drive. And right now I have no workspace loaded. So the first thing we have to do is create a workspace. Now it's important to know we have one workspace per computer. So if I want to use this on multiple computers, if I want to use this on my work computer or my laptop, I need to have separate workspaces and I have to name them different names. So essentially I need to go in here and I like to work in this right hand tab space with my workspaces here rather than over here. So I'm just going to go view workspaces. I'm going to create a new workspace in this computer. I'm going to start by right clicking and select new workspace. And here I have, um, I am using a streamed workspace. So I'm going to browse all the streams I'm subscribed to, and I'm going to look for the day night plugin that I have been working on. So I know it's down here somewhere. There we go, day night plugin. So that's the workspace stream and you need to allocate the stream or if it's a stream workspace, it will not work. So this is really important. I've got to give it a workspace name and put it on my hard drive. So workspace name, I actually like to use the depot name uh, for, sorry, the workspace name, I, I will incorporate the depot name, but you can't use just the depot name. So this depot is called DMA real time of day plugin. And if I use that, it'll, it won't allow me to put a workspace name as the same. So I'm going to use a name that will be very similar, but it'll also tell me what computer it's on for me. So I'm going to go, I'm going to go, um, Moby, which is my name underscore real time of day, just to abbreviate it. And then I'm, this is my laptop. So I'm just going to go LPT. So it's my laptop. Now it automatically names your workspace root. I don't really like that. The workspace root can be anything that we want. Um, it is always best to have it. In my case, I have an external, I have a D drive that's very fast. Um, you wanna make sure that this is not installed on a cloud service like iCloud or Microsoft's OneDrive. The syncing of that is gonna completely screw up the database in Perforce and strongly suggest you do not do that. That is a no-no. So we want to put it on a, and with Unreal, we want to use an NVMe really fast hard drive, um, especially with Nanites and Lumen. We need fast access. So I'm going to put on my D drive and I'm going to put a root of D. So my file names are a little bit shorter. And that is, again, is another best practice here to put it sort of close to the D folder. And I am going to call this um, DMA real time of day plugin. And this way I can give my workspace root the name of that folder. And then, oops, and then I can have a different workspace name from the workspace root. So even though it changes at the same time, it doesn't have to. So I've got my stream. I've got my workspace root, um, which is on my D drive. And I've used the name of the depot. And then I have to create an original depot name on every workspace. Again, one per one per computer. So I go to advanced um, and I want to change the mod time. So this basically um, sets the files times to where it was submitted in my workspace, which will account for different team members working in different time zones. So I always have that checked on just in case I do travel a bit. And then we've got rmdir and this is like GitHub. It doesn't delete workspace uh, directories when workspaces, when doesn't delete workspace directories when they're empty because it actually doesn't store, it doesn't understand directories. It stores the whole file net path and the file name together as one. So this makes sure it clears up any empty directories and that's very convenient. Um, and then the last thing I do for Unreal especially is Unreal checks out a heck of a lot of files. And a lot of times I change, I don't change them. I don't change at all. So there's no point in changing, in submitting unchanged files. So I automatically say on submit, revert any unchanged files before it submits them. Um, I could hit automatically get re all revisions and it'll do that for the one time, but I'm going to leave that off for now. And I'm going to go and make sure that my settings are right. And I go, okay. And now I get my 
workspace. And in this workspace, I can uh, go to my workspace tab and there's nothing there. So this project, real time of day, let's take a look, has my Unreal project in it. And you can see my U project here. Um, I've got my P4 ignore, and I've got all my contents of my Unreal project. And to get it is really simple. Um, I just hit get latest. So I select the top directory of my plugin and I hit get latest and I will get the latest of this project and it's going to download all the files. I've got some fairly long files, so I'm going to speed things up and fast forward through this. Okay, so now it's downloaded everything from my folder. So it's got my, it's got all the files that I pushed. I did push the binaries. This is a C++ project. So now it's got, um, I am in sync with the head on the depot. I'm going to create another workspace of another project I'm working on. So I'm going to go new workspace. Let's do this again. And I'm going to browse my streams. And I've got a class I'm teaching where I am teaching a whole bunch of students. So I'm going to go to um, all Unreal 2020. That looks like my class. So again, this is this is the name of the depot. So I'm going to use this for the name of my folder. So first I'm going to put it in D. I'm going to put it in the D drive and I'm going to select a folder. And whoops, that's not what I want. I'm going to select the folder and the folder is going to be called 2024 Fall Art. 2020 and I'm going to call the project all the the depot uh, Moby fall art 2020 unreal laptop just like my last one and then I'm going to go to my advanced, turn mod times to true, remove empty directories when they're empty, and then revert unchanged files to revert them. And I'm going to press OK. And then I get my second depot, and it automatically switched to that other depot. Even though I've got Unreal still, oops, it's saying it can't rebuild from source. That's fine. I'll rebuild it later. So I've got my second depot here. And I can get the latest for this depot. And there's a lot of files in it. So I'm not going to get all of them. Let me open up. Let me just get one project that I'm working on. So I'm going to go to this depot, which is DMAY 2020. Here it is, 2024 Fall Art. I'm just going to grab one of the projects I'm working on here in shared shared folder and there's this so I'm going to get I'm going to get the latest revision of this folder so it's not going to get everything in the directories because that would be a lot it's going to get just these files They're still going to take some time and notice when I created that new depot that it change me into that depot. Now there's two ways we can change depots. I can go back to the real time of day by clicking here and go switch to real time of day. And now I'm back on the real time of day depot. Um, or I can click here and switch between my class and the real time of day plugin I'm working on. So two choices, we can switch here or we can switch here. It doesn't really matter. So I'm going to go back to my class and just show you that I can actually launch U project from here and it'll load up Unreal from and I, I there is no reason to run it from Perforce. You don't have to, but I tend to like to run it from Perforce because then I know I'm I'm logged in. So um, it's easier to hook up with Perforce and Unreal. Um, and I often forget <clears throat> to load 
Perforce, so this just forces me to load it first. So I just get in the habit of loading it from Perforce as opposed to from Unreal. So here I've got my I've got my project I'm working on. So that essentially is um, how to use set up Perforce workspace for Unreal. I will see you next time.